Happy Sunday. My name is Paul Norton. I'm the marketing manager for Linear Integrated Systems. For those of us, for those of you that are not familiar with us, we're about a 30-year-old semiconductor manufacturer located in Fremont, California. We have a line of small signal discretes, which include MOSFETs or DMOS switches, JFETs, MOSFETs, and transistors, all small signal. Uh, typically, most people know us for our JFETs, which are used a lot by most of the uh, audio folks. Uh, we've been up to a few things recently as far as coming out with a group of new products, and I just wanted to briefly give you an update as to what we've been doing. Uh, we're proud to announce the uh, release of the LSJ689. This is a monolithic dual P-channel. It's available in both surface mount and through hole. This is the end channel complement to the LSK49, which is also a monolithic dual end channel. Currently, we're probably one of the only manufacturers in the world that have a dual N and a dual P that's currently in production. Additionally, we're having a single version of that. Currently, we released the LSK189, which is a single version of the 489. We'll be releasing the single version of the LSJ689. We haven't figured out what to call it yet, but that'll be something that we'll do within the next 30 to 60 days. Additionally, um, we're working on uh, some increased application notes. If you go on our website, you'll see we have gentlemen like Bob Cordell and Ron Kwan who are continuing to contribute application and other information to assist a lot of people in the uh, use of our products and as well expanding the use of our products. Currently, most of the products we do will second source a lot of the ones that are being discontinued by Fairchild, but at the same time, we're kind of turning the corner to be able to provide a lot of parts that none of them ever provided before. Uh, additionally, if you go to our booth, you'll see that we have a nice uh, headphone amplifier evaluation board that was provided by a gentleman named Dimitri that we will be potentially offering in some form for sale in the future. We just haven't figured out whether we're going to provide a complete evaluation board or whether one that you guys can put together. Uh, in addition to that, um, for, those of, for those of you that have been tracking the LSK product line, we started out with the LSK389, which is a high capacitance, uh, high gain device. We came out with the LSK49, which has had about a fifth of the capacitance and a little bit less gain. We've had certain feedback that some people want something else kind of in the middle, and we have another device that we'll be releasing next year that will have a little bit more capacitance than the 489, but not as much as the 389, so look forward to that on our website. Additionally, we're going to be getting into uh, or expanding a line of VCRs. Uh, we've been told that uh, variable gain control would be a good market for those parts, and that's something that we're going to be going on for next year. Additionally, we're putting a lot of resources into our website, so I would just say uh, we hope to have that done probably in first quarter of next year, so stay tuned. Other than that, any questions? Yes? Any plans for current regulating diodes? Uh, if you look on here, we have our JFET line is very well leveraged. There are amplifiers, current regulating diodes. We make some of the best low leakage diodes in the business. They're, not, they're rated at picoamps, but they're actually doing femtoamps, but everybody knows how easy it is to measure femtoamps and agree. So we do a picoamps. Additionally, we do a lot of the switches as well. Uh, one of the other areas that we're gonna be moving into is uh, we're gonna be adding what's called the DFN package. For those of you that aren't familiar with that, if you thought SOT23 was small, this is even smaller. The benefit to that is, of course, you can't read the part number on it, is that um, the power dissipation of that package allegedly is twice of what you can get out of a SOT23 in spite of the fact that it's a smaller package. Uh, for people dealing with medical applications, it is considered to be a non-magnetic part in that the lead frame is not magnetic, and for specific medical applications, that would be ideal. Other than that, any more questions? Thank you for your time. Have a good day.